What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria with Maria Thill Photography. I'm a professional photographer based in Austin, Texas. For all things relating to photography and running an online business, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified every single week when I make a new video. So last week I made this video all about getting monetized, how it happened, things that you guys need to do to prepare for monetization. And in that video, I promise that this week I'm gonna go over my analytics and share with you guys just exactly how much I made in my first month of being monetized on YouTube. It was a really exciting moment for me and it still is. I'm still kind of running on this like high of being monetized. It is so awesome. Um, so today you may be thinking, Maria, are you working from bed? And heck yeah, I'm working from bed. It is snowing here in Texas. My office is freezing cold and I'm 15 weeks pregnant. So I decided today if that means I'm gonna work from bed, then hey, whatever. So I want to go over a few things with you guys before we dive into the analytics, but basically as of right now, I'm standing at about 2,400 subscribers. When I got monetized, I was right around 2,000. And I want you guys to keep these numbers in mind when we go over the analytics and how much money I'm making because it's really going to come into play when we talk about things like CPM and my views in comparison to my subscribers. As you all know, in order to get monetized, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Some of you are asking me which one came first and I will tell you that the 1,000 subscribers definitely came first. 4,000 watch hours is not necessarily the easiest thing. It takes a little bit of time if you're not blowing up naturally on YouTube. So with all that being said, let's dive into my computer and I'm going to show you guys all the back end of Google AdSense, my analytics in YouTube studio, and all the numbers. Let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome to my computer. This is my YouTube analytics and I want to dive in by sharing some insight as to how much I made this month, I'm sorry, as to how much I made my first month of being monetized on YouTube. If you've never been in the creator studio, then you, you probably are like, what the heck are you looking at? But this is where you find all of your analytics for your channel and everything relating to monetization. So right now, if I go over to my revenue tab, I want to show you that, as you may know, if you watched my previous video, I got monetized in November. However, I didn't get approved into the program until December. So that's why you don't see any data right here for November. So in December, I made $47.10, which is a lot more than what I was expecting to make in my first month of being monetized on YouTube. You guys can see it's February now. So in January, I made $59.19. And then in February, I made, so far it's, we're only about halfway through, but I've made $25.50. Some things that you guys are really gonna wanna pay attention to when studying your analytics is your top earning videos, which you can find right here. And as you can see, my videos about HoneyBook do the best as far as what videos earn me money. And the reason why I think this is happening is because I pers this is my theory. I think that HoneyBook may advertise on YouTube and they pay a little extra money to have their ads run on my videos about HoneyBook, um, which would make a lot of sense, right? Or maybe it's like Dubsado running ads on my HoneyBook videos, which is a competitor to HoneyBook. Um, but basically what this tells me is that you guys really, like, these are my most valuable videos as far as what videos make me money, but as far as what you guys are actually watching and getting value out of. Obviously my Godox 8200 videos do great as far as views in comparison to subscribers. Um, but you can see here, they actually don't make me that much money. Um, which is fine. I still love making those videos. It's not like I'm going to stop just because they don't bring me a ton of money as far as monetization goes. But this really shows me that as far as like, if I want to continue to make a, a good amount of money on YouTube, maybe I should make some more videos on HoneyBook. So if I click in here, we're going to be able to see all the analytics of this specific video. And what you can see here is that this video it primarily ranks because of what people are searching for, which is not an accident. This is 100% the, 
because I do my research before I create a video and then I create the videos all around what the audience is looking for. So it's really crazy to me, but this video has really, really hasn't even gotten that many views compared to some of my others. So it only has 764 views. The watch time is 33.8 hours and it's gained 19 subscribers from my channel. However, my estimated revenue that this video alone produces is 51.50, sorry, is $51.81, which is a lot for only 764 views. You can see in here, this is the audience retention, um, which is really important to note. So when I'm making new content, this is where I'm going to focus for what you guys want to see more of, or maybe what you guys need more help with. Okay, so now if we hop over to my revenue tab, you're gonna see right here that, right here, November 28th is pretty much when I got the approval letter that I was gonna be monetized. And then once YouTube started placing ads on my video, this happened right around December 6th. So my guess is that I got the letter in late November and then I probably finished all the requirements for monetization as far as like setting up my Google AdSense and like getting my account verified and all that kind of stuff around December 6th. And then 7th, I made 43 cents on this video. So then you will see this video continuously rises in how much money it's making. One thing to note with making money with monetization is that you are really looking to improve your CPM and your RPM. Now, as I told you guys in the beginning, this is definitely my my biggest earning video. So not all of my videos are different and your CPM is going to vary depending upon every single video. So although this video has a really nice CPM, some of my other videos are not going to have that same CPM. Um, so if we go over back over to channel analytics and we come to this other video all about HoneyBook, you'll see that my estimated revenue is obviously different. Um, and that's because of things like audience retention and click through rate and how much money people are willing to spend to advertise on this video. So if we go over to revenue, my estimated revenue for this video so far is $27.13. Again, you'll see this spike right here. And my RPM for this video is very different than the previous video that we were looking at. It's only $10.36, which is really good still. Um, the playback-based CPM is $98. And yeah, if we scroll down, you can see some other analytics as far as like what ads are typically placed on my videos. And as you can see, I let YouTube do its thing. I let them decide what type of ads to put on my videos as well as where to put them. Sometimes if it's a video that I want specific ads in specific places, I will go into the analytics and adjust that myself. But for the most part, I just let it run on its own. So the 98.8% of the ads that are placed on this video are skippable video ads. And this video is still doing pretty well in my opinion. So overall, I want you guys to see, let's go back to channel analytics. And I want you guys to see my revenue overall. This is only the past 28 days. So let's go into December, 2020. December, 2020, I my estimated revenue to make in this month was $47.10. My RPM was 6.48, which just means all of these videos combined together. The RPM was 6.48. And then the playback based CPM was 26.66. Um, you can see that on certain days, my videos earn me more money than others. So like right here, December 15th, we had a huge spike and I earned $6.93 from my past videos. And then we go down and then we come back up for another spike at 48, I'm sorry, at 4.81. And then we have these little baby spikes, 3.04. And uh, now down here, it's going to break down all the videos and how much they made. So as you know before, this book, sorry, this video makes me the most money. This first month that I got monetized, it made me $15.15. .15. Um, and then over here, you guys can see 
the breakdown of each month. So January, I made more money. February, February, because we're only about halfway through, I'm going to expect that I might make about the same as what I made in January. Um, so let's hop over to Google AdSense. And I want to show you guys kind of how the back end looks because it's a little confusing at first. So if we are looking at my payments, you will see that right here, my starting balance was $47.10. And that's because in December, that is how much I made on YouTube. So this is my earnings right here from YouTube. See how it's marked like this? So that you can differentiate, like, did I make $47.10 from my blog or did I make this from YouTube? So I do really like that, that they keep it organized. Um, so from December 1st to the 31st, I made this much money which is not the $100 threshold that Google requires in order to pay you out, which just means that this money gets pushed into the next month. So January 1st, by January 1st to the 31st, I made $59.19, which leads me to an ending total balance of $106.29, which means February 21st, your girl is getting paid out $106.29 for being monetized on YouTube for two full months. And because February numbers are not out yet, that just means that at the end of February, however much money I make in February is going to be put into this account. And again, I'll have to hit that threshold in order to be paid out, which hopefully these months are going to increase in revenue um, as far as how much money I'm making because $50 a month is awesome for just starting, but obviously this is a very lucrative business and you can make a lot more money. Um, so for my third month, I anticipate probably to make around $50 again, but I do think that because I know my analytics, I'm going to make some more HoneyBook videos because the RPM is so good on them. Um, so that's one thing, one little piece of advice that I have for you guys is really study your analytics and understand what your audience wants, but also what advertisers are willing to put money on. So with that being said, um, a couple other things about Google AdSense is that you do not get paid out. Like I won't get paid out this money until February 21st and so on and so forth. So um, their payout schedule means that the money that you made in the in the previous month it does not get distributed until the following month on the 21st so don't expect to like get monetized and be like yo i'm getting so much money it takes a while um be patient with it and just understand that you have earned that money but it's just in your holding for a little bit sometimes amounts can fluctuate and you will see right here if we go back over to the analytics studio that this is just an estimated revenue. Even though this is exactly how much I made, this can still change between now and the time that they officially pay me out, which is why there's that lag time. Okay, so I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a lot of numbers and analytics. If you have any questions about um, YouTube AdSense and Google Studio Analytics and being monetized, Leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to know um, what you guys need help with. But so far, I think I think what I'm going to start doing is doing monthly analytics reports so that you guys can see my numbers and see how I analyze these numbers in order to then continue to grow on YouTube. Because it's not just make random content and hope for the best. There is a strategy behind this. And if you want to know more about how I strategized making money before I was monetized, which is really important because being monetized is just one little piece of the puzzle. If you can monetize before you officially get monetized on YouTube, that is the most important part. Um, so in the link down below, I'm going to put my, I'm sorry, in the description down below, I'm going to put my link to my free guide to getting started on YouTube in 2021 and really maximizing those opportunities to get monetized before you are even eligible for the partner program. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified every single week when I make a new video. And as always, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.